Now, in the lab, we have three basic acids. Hydrochloric acid here. Okay, so I'm going to write down. Hydrochloric acid. Followed by, ah, nitric acid. And I have with me here sulfuric acid. So what exactly are their formula? Now, hydrochloric acid is HCl. Nitric acid is what? HNO3. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Remember, when they are in acid form, they must dissolve in water. When they dissolve in water, a process called dissociation, they will dissociate, separate themselves into the different ions. Then, they, they are properties of acid evolve. Okay, so this will become H plus and Cl minus. This will become H plus and NO3 minus. This will become H plus and SO42 minus. But because this is H2, I have two H plus. So what is the common ions here in all the acids? Well, if you can take a closer, closer look, you will notice that all of them have what? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yes, you're right. You can see all of them. I know all of them have H plus ion miscellina. Yes, H plus, H plus. Oh, yo. Okay, come, let me draw it out. They all have H plus ions. So what makes acid acid? One of the main properties is all their H plus ions. Now, how do you test whether something is acid? Well, one of the most common things is, of course, you use your universal indicator. Universal indicator shows here that if it's acid, all right, you will see a red in color, red, orange, yellow. Of course, the more acidic it is, the, the color will be over here. This is the weak acid, all right? So, I have with me here sulfuric acid. Now, before I put in the universal indicator, you can also use two things, either a blue litmus paper or red litmus paper, okay? But let me see. If I put the red litmus paper in anything, any color change? Nothing, because this is acid. But if I put the blue one in, can you see that it actually changes color to what color? Pink in color, can you see? All right, pink in color. So you must be careful. When you insert, uh, when you test it with litmus paper, if it doesn't change with a red litmus paper, it doesn't show that it's an acid. It just shows that it has no reaction with the red litmus. But if you want to test if this is an acid, you have to use blue litmus paper. And what I have with me here is the universal indicator. Yes. So I'm going to pour the universal indicator inside. Okay. You see a good red color forming. Ah, red, pH 1, acid. So what are the properties of acid, physical properties of acid then? Well, First of them, one of them is it turn universal indicator red. Secondly, can you see over here? They all have what ions? Tell me. H plus ions. pH range from 0 or 1 to 6. I write 0 to 6, okay? So, uh, some of them, some of the skill will give you 0, some of the skill start from 1, but it doesn't matter. It is considered as a strong acid if, if it's 0 or 1. 6 is the weak acid, 7 is neutral. Now, lastly, okay, it tastes sour. A lot of your fruits taste sour and they are acidic. So, if today you have a gastric pain, it means that your stomach uh, has a lot of acid. Should you go and eat some more fruits to make yourself have a tummy ache? Of course not. Eat something that's alkaline, okay?